Hi Sagittarius, I hope that you're all doing well. We are here with a timeless reading for you. The first card that we have out is Four of Swords. Four of Swords is connected with resting, relaxing, recovering, can be self-care that you're doing, can be recharging that you're doing. The Cosmic Seed is coming out. This card is the only card in the deck that's different from a regular tarot deck. The Cosmic Seed is about the cosmic energy. Um, having this be connected with Four of Swords. I guess something almost about like when you're relaxed or when you're not trying, this even feels like a not forcing something that that's when it comes out. You know when you like want something to happen and or you're like trying to make something happen and so you're working and working and working kind of profusely and you can feel like it's not really doing what you want it to do. The way that this is feeling to me is like from a place where you feel centered or a place where you feel calm, which is connected with the Four of Swords, where you feel relaxed, where you feel tranquil, where you feel grounded, where you feel centered, that that's when like something flows or something emanates. And I see this as being something that's sort of like rippling out from you. And that when you're in this place, and this can be like when you're taking care of yourself or when you get into a relaxed state or maybe something about meditation here, that that's when something flows. And this can be something that you were like, it even feels like trying to get something to work or like trying to turn the magic on or something like that. And all you have to do is just relax and then it flows out. Like you don't have to try so hard. That's what this is feeling like. Like it just flows out of you like naturally so you can be in just a, a still or a calm state. This feels actually like stuff comes out in a way that's effortless. Like you don't have to make the effort. All you have to be doing is I guess like making the effort to to chill or to relax or to center yourself. And that's when the magic happens. That's what this feels like. So it comes not from a place of trying, it comes from a place of, I think more than anything, like not resisting with the Four of Swords. This feels like, like letting it, it reminds me of that, that stuff that if you, if you like punch it or put a lot of pressure on it, it feels like a solid and you can't break through. But if you slowly put your hand in it or put whatever in it, it will like sink and that's when it can, that's when it's receptive. It feels like that. Like if you're forcing something and if you're trying to do something or if you're like running around and being all chaotic, that this energy, and it feels like something very high vibrational with the, with this card, that's when it comes out. But if you're trying to force it in some type of way, it doesn't flow out. I'm seeing Hank Man. I'm seeing Eight of Wands. Maybe this is different than how you were seeing things before. Having the Hanged Man is about a very important spiritual realization that's being made, energetic realization that's being made. When we have the Hanged Man, what Neptune affords you when you work with the energy of Neptune from a place of truth within yourself? Because Neptune will mess you up. If you want to be in a fantasy land with Neptune, it will show you what you want to see and you'll be out of touch. But if you are working with the truth and you were when you were working with Neptune, this can be some very important spiritual realizations, energetic realizations that are being made, that are being discovered, that are being remembered, and then being able to move forward from that point. It's just about needing to see this 
to see what Neptune wants to show you, but only when you want the truth. That's all. You get the truth when you want the truth, but if you want something else more than you want the truth, Neptune will show that to you. So this is an, an energy that can be difficult to work with if you are not seeking the truth. I feel like that's the only way to really successfully get the the potential of Neptune, the potential high wisdom that Neptune has to give. In a way that truly benefits you. Not that Neptune doesn't benefit you in other ways, but this is something that can be more realized we have knight of pentacles coming out knight of pentacles is about taking the steps that are appropriate step by step process holding on to what's important to you knight of pentacles and four of pentacles With a focus on the earth energy, there can be a need to be open, flexible, rhythmic is the word that's coming through with this. What's coming through with the energy of Knight of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles feels like if you do a little bit every day, that's how to get something building. Because Knight of Pentacles isn't an energy that's going to come through and say, I'm going to do it all now and take all the steps now and then build this really high up right now. Knight of Pentacles is more like, like every day I do a little bit and then it turns into something. So I'm getting something about that, about like needing consistency and there to be yeah consistency when it comes to your pace so it's like every day i do it or every week i work on it or whatever this is that you're doing it just feels like consistency is more important than doing everything all at once that feels like that's the the notion with these energies in a way the reading feels like a little bit disconnected right now like I'm seeing different threads with it I'm just not sure how exactly they all connect with one another actually now that I now that I say that there may be before you could have felt like you needed to be on when maybe four of swords is actually saying when you relax like that's when the magic happens and when you see it in that way of things being able to fall into place when you let the flow happen rather than forcing, that that's really when things get moving and it puts you into a place of doing more of a like a steady pace to things. And that that's how you keep things stabilized for yourself. So rather than expending a lot or needing to conserve a lot, this feels like more of a keeping things like more so in an equilibrium and a balance because you're just like, you're doing a little and then you take a little break and then you do a little and take a little break. That's sort of what I'm seeing. And this feels like as that's happening, like that's really where the magic happens. It feels like rather than forcing, rather than pushing, rather than rushing, that this is actually the way to do what you're trying to do here. That this is like the suggestion. Having, having King of Wands on the bottom of the deck, there can be a part of you that sort of wants things to happen more rapidly or maybe just used to, maybe preferring things to happen quicker or more instantly because fire can be like that. There's more of a, like I wanna see something big or I want something to be intense. And so this can be sort of slowing down that part of you. I wanna be in control as well with the, 
king of wands so this can actually be you being slowed down and seeing that this is the best way to do things i don't know why that's the suggestion but this is the suggestion that i'm seeing here This also feels too like recognizing that that slowing down and taking care of yourself and having periods of rest is just as important as the periods of movement and doing and investing and stepping. And then that's also part of the progress as well. And there's something there's something really important that comes from you being in a place of like groundedness and stillness and taking care of yourself. What sort of ripples out from you when you're doing that? And it can even be like a slowing down too. And opportunity comes to you. Like I'm seeing something just attracting, it's been attracted to you. But with Four of Swords, this can be you're not doing not that you're not doing anything, but you can just be being still and something is just showing up and available to you because you sort of, I'm getting it like you sent out some type of signal. You are still connected, sent out some type of signal. And then I'm seeing the Ace of Wands just show up because it was like called into your energetic field. An Ace of Wands will be a door that opens for you. So this can be like you didn't need to go out looking for it, just needed to get still and centered and sort of like send out that intention and I'm seeing it just like come to you and the door is open. But it, it comes to you when you're in a space that is, it's like still calm with the Four of Swords, like at least your mind is centered and calm. That doesn't mean like you're not doing anything at all, but it can be more so like you're in a grounded space and that's what makes the difference here. That there's not a panic. It's gonna be the opposite of that. There will be stability here. And then that will foster external stability. I'm seeing you moving out of some situation that you could have even felt like you were struggling with an opportunity. Two of Swords can be something we haven't decided. Two of Swords can be something we haven't seen. Five of Pentacles can maybe be what the issue is. It's weird because I'm seeing Ace of Wands be there and this feels like not seeing it. See how this person has a blindfold on? It's like the Ace of Wands is right there, but the blindfold is on and so not able to see it. This is the Two of Swords. But if the blindfold were off, like if this were an Ace of Swords, the opportunity would be seen, but for some reason not seeing it. And having Five of Pentacles feels like what would be blocking you. Let's see why we have the Two of Swords here. What are you not seeing? The Two of Swords is connected with the Cosmic Seed. Let's talk about, let's talk about the card. It says that it's about trusting your inner eye. It also says the cosmic seed is representative of you and I. We are infinite cosmic spirits enmeshed in sacred flesh for a time here on this planet. We are seeds of pure potential here to grow and learn and share our magic with each other.
The cosmic seed is the seed of infinite potential. It exists in the quantum realm and can move between dimensions, realities, in all directions and through matter. It is the intelligence from which all ideas and things are created. This card is a reminder of your superpower. You have access to the infinite in every moment. What are you creating with your thought, power, and influence? This is about expanding your vision and I think accepting your power and responsibility as well. And having that two of swords there, this can be something that hasn't, that isn't fully being seen yet at this point. And that's why hanged man is here. So if this is not being seen and hanged man is here, hanged man is Neptune. Hanged man is here and saying that if you really want to see through the illusion and you really want to see the truth, I can reveal this to you. But you're going to have to see through. This can be like self-limiting narratives, self-limiting beliefs, stuff of that nature. Where with the five of pentacles, this can be like a lack of faith. It can be a lack of trust. It can be doubt. Five of pentacles can be poverty mindset limiting self-beliefs, limiting narratives, those things. So this is about moving through that. So that things can come together. feels like this period is meant to show this to you and it feels like a period of some stillness that's happening there's healing that's happening What I'm seeing going on is this feels like not tapping into your vision connected with the possibilities of things and thinking that seeing yourself as being limited and saying that's just the reality of it when that's not actually the reality of it. It's coming from a wounded perspective. Like this is coming from something that is not whole, that is not integrated. This is coming from something else and needing to see through that. Because this feels like resistance and holding from a place of fear, but also still holding on to pain is what I'm seeing. Like steps that are being taken but that flexibility is needed. And if there's still the holding on to pain, it feels like every step you're stepping on a thorn, but only because you're holding on to it. It's like you haven't removed it yet from your foot. And you're like, why is it painful taking these steps? But if you were taking normal steps without the thorn there, it wouldn't hurt, but it's just because the thorn hasn't been removed. So then you're like associating taking steps forward with it being painful, but only because the thorn hasn't been removed is what I'm seeing. It's like things are so stressful because of the resistance, because of the holding on. Where there is a need to release, where there is a need to let go. And Hank Man can also help with that too. Because this can be releasing narratives, releasing perspectives to see something that feels like a more elevated truth. And things can come together. And this can also be connected with stories that we tell ourselves too. You go from five of pentacles to moving out of the five of pentacles, going from somewhere where you wouldn't prefer to be to somewhere where you'd rather prefer, somewhere where you'd rather be. It feels like a magic opportunity that's opening up. that can take you somewhere you'd prefer. But the part of you that doesn't want to risk, that doesn't want to trust, that doesn't want to let go, 
that is forcing things and not aligning with the flow of things is becoming a stressful energy that you're playing out, a stressful cycle that you're playing out. It's like spirit coming through and saying, hey, walk through this door. You're going to love what you see on the other side. And you being like, no, what if I, I walk past that and then through the door and then this happens and then that happens and then I have to be worried about that and I don't really trust what's on the other side of it. It's like all of this stuff where you are you are being like spirit led through this opportunity is showing up and that it's saying like you could go through a release, like the healing is possible. There's a shifting that's available for you and things really can come together and this is the resistance to that. And then needing to see that, needing to get quiet enough and centered enough to be able to see what you're not seeing, to seek the truth. With the hanged man, with Neptune, if you really want the truth, it will show it to you. And this can be something that feels really elevated. But if you are still not being totally in a space of truth with yourself, it will keep you not seeing things that are right in front of you that you would feel much better off if you would be open to seeing these things. How it allows stuff to actually come together, how it allows things to be reconciled, how it allows cleansing as well. But there's definitely a, an addressing that has to happen. It's kind of like, you know when you get a splinter how it can be painful to remove it but then when the splinter is out like it may hurt for a little bit but then it's gonna heal this feels like the splinter is there and I'm seeing it and then being like I don't want to take it out I don't want to take it out it's gonna hurt and it's like well it's already hurting you anyway when you like touch that part of your body to anything else it just like digs it in further and it's gonna hurt a little bit to remove it, but then you're gonna be free of that and then it's going to heal. And that's really the sentiment that I'm seeing here. And it feels like that splinter is cutting you off from seeing something about that cosmic, the cosmic seed energy. So there's something really important that feels like about your ability to tap in that this is blocking you from. And it's actually something that's under your control to remove the splinter. But there can actually be, I mean, hanged man and five of pentacles can be like actually a fear of, of doing exactly that. Of unraveling things. This also feels like a, a waking up of the divinity of the divine nature of you and of everything all around you, the cosmic law. This is going to bring you into a place where it looks like there's going to be some type of Eight of Wands is moving into Three of Cups, which shows that something is coming together. And this also shows you moving into a place where there's going to be a receptivity to you and to your energy, where you're going to be somewhere where there will be like, like minds or like souls or be a place where you'll be understood and when, where you'll feel understanding. That's where I'm seeing you move to. That's what I'm seeing you going towards, like inevitably with Eight of Wands going into Three of Cups. And I feel like you're already kind of going in that direction. It's just the, like the thorn in your foot that needs to be addressed here. So you can see that you can take steps and it doesn't have to be painful. You just need to remove that thing, which again can initially be like, well, it's gonna hurt. And then it's not anymore after that. 
and that's really what can happen here. That's what I'm seeing be going on with the energy. This means too that I'm seeing like something that you could feel like is a wound within you. Having this Ace of Wands is saying like this opportunity is one to allow you to heal this. This is something that is coming to you and the door is opening to say this is an opportunity for you to pull that thorn out of your foot. Like this is an opportunity for you to remove the splinter. So this is actually something that's been like cosmically drawn to you from a place of you being centered. So this is something that will promote growth and healing. And a sense of purpose and fulfillment within you. But there can definitely, five of pentacles and eight of wands can be, you have to put yourself out there. This can be a needing to address fears. This can also be tapping into your faith, tapping into your trust and addressing self-limiting narratives, fear narratives, lack of trust, a lack of willingness, those things. Because I even feel like this is pushing you in a direction where there is really faith required to do this. This thing has not, this door has not opened up for no reason. And you may be questioning, well, how am I going to be able to take care of myself? Or how am I going to get, Five of Pentacles can bring up stuff where you have like tangible needs. And you're, and this like, this very important opportunity has shown up for you and you're meant to go with it. Like you're meant, this is something that you're meant to sort of ride the wave of. But this five of pentacles, especially like the way that I'm seeing the energy go, it looks like this brings up fear of, well, I'm concerned about meeting my needs and making sure that I'm taking care of myself in certain ways. And this is challenging that part of myself that's having a hard time letting go and trusting this opportunity. So you can know like intuitively something is right, but at the same time, you can say like from a physical standpoint, well, how's that going to work then? And that's where the fear can come up. But I'm seeing your guides are saying like, you need to trust that if something is in alignment, those things will also be taken care of. Like your well-being is assured. And maybe that's going to be a mantra through this because I'm definitely seeing this kick up some fears for you of like, I need to conserve, I need to hold on to this, like, I, I can't do that, or it's just this stuff that has you holding back, or feeling like you can't, like, spend the energy in whatever form that looks like, because it's not going to come back to you, and that your needs are not going to be met, so this is coming from a place of fear and anxiety within you, and it's not coming from a place of trust, because when you tap into that trust within you, you'll see that an opportunity that is meant for you comes through and that it will align with all of your other needs that you have. It's not going to conflict with that. But the lack of seeing that comes from a place of wounding. And that's why Hanged Man is here saying these are like higher cosmic truths that you will find if something is really part of your purpose. It is really aligned and it is a right opportunity for you. All your stuff, all of your needs, they will also be taken care of. And that that's not something you need to be profusely worrying about. And it's not something that's meant to hold you back from going in the direction when you know that you're being encouraged to go that way. When you know in your soul something is right for you to be doing. So it's bringing up those, those things, those fears, those places where you're still holding on and not trusting the grand alignment of things. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.